and Jodie McGarvey next as they head out over the second in the home straight. Princess Lily again having to be driven away from her hurdles in these early stages. So racing downhill, heading towards their point of departure in this Tolls Bookmakers maiden hurdle and it's gone for T. It was a 14 length bumper winner at Bellews Town two weeks ago. Leads by a length and a half over Yates Star, who's been fourth in all three starts to date. Represents the Gordon Elliott stable. This front pair have a length and a half advantage over Northfield, Minnesota, who's travelled strongly to this point in the hands of Paul Town. It is on the inside of Fathom 2. Prince of the City again, quite ponderous towards the rear end of the field. But it is gone for T that leads Yates Star. Northfield, Minnesota on the inside of Fathom 2. That's your front quartet. They're a length and a half in front over Bayonet who was beaten ahead here on her penultimate start she races on the outside of always and ever who was second at Limerick in July at a big price figurehead is behind these having his first start back with the Michael Cleary stable Sally's Cave is next with Zagreb as they go out over the flight of hurdles which is three from the finish Princess Lily the one tailing off again out towards her left but it's this gone for T with the advantage still has Yates Star as his nearest pursuer in that second spot Fathom 2 has relegated Northfield Minnesota into the fourth position as they race inside the final half mile Bayonet on the outside of this one from Figurehead out over the flight at the top of the track with one left to Go jump well. now in the Toll Bookmakers Maiden Hurdle and Gone for T has made every yeah, inch of the running to this point but now it's has the eight star on his outside green. within hey, a quarter of a length Fathom 2 is the one that emerges with this oh, trio nice. they've opened up now over Northfield Minnesota who hasn't wait, picked wait. up Bayonetta figurehead and always and ever next here's the final flight Come on, for sir. Gone for 2 out over it Fathom 2 arrives on the outside there was no room well, for Yates star though. in the centre but it's still this Gone for T has beaten off off all rivals to this point Fathom 2 is the one that will try and go by comes alongside in the two neck and neck race the inside the final one fifty. star is held in third but it's Fathom 2 is getting the better of the argument for Keith Donahue and place in all three previous visits here Fathom 2 of course regular takes our opener for the Gavin Cromwell stable second goes to gone for T eight star was in third the fucking the thing was there Form was out yeah, I, I think that might be uh, winner 23 for KM Donahue, Keith Donahue this season, and I thought that that was a lovely hey, ride in that he didn't really go after Love his mounts uh, until he felt, you know, we're hitting the hill here, very, very genuine horse on the inside, as I mentioned, gone for T, had to give weight very, to her rivals by horse. virtue of we that penalty, and boy did she go down fighting uh, yeah. for Rachel Blackmore, some, got some great leaps out for her, but yeah, I spoke to Gavin Cromwell beforehand, uh, he felt this horse was his best chance of the day, and to be fair, he wasn't winning out of turn, the tongue tie seemed to have done the trick, Seven two, and uh, Keith, who, uh, I can't here, remember, it's not that long ago, Keith was really struggling with his career, Weight wise, and he's done walk, walk track, absolute he wonders to uh, get to the position that he is in today. And uh, that was a nice performance. And Keats yeah. is strongly, strongly represented on this car today. He rides the one we dream of across the ocean. How you see DE, Candana, and uh, Haskell Claremont. So he's pretty much busy from start to finish. And there is a steward's inquiry. Um, have a look at that. I'm not sure what that uh, entails. We'll get the head on shortly, but uh, as of now, anyway, no doubts about the winner. Maybe there was a little bit of an incident uh, after the last, um, but as of now, if you back Fathom 2, you're off to a winning start here. The tongue tie did the I trick. Very, very uh, underwhelming performance. It must be said again from Northfield, Minnesota. It was turned over at 4 to 9. Stewards inquiry. Um, but